This tablet is very special. It does not have front end and back camera. I used two HDMI video sources replace the internal camera. For example, this HDMI input. It replaces the front camera. This my source. Just replace backup camera. It has a native version of Google Play. That is too sad. You can download any app on it. Just like your mobile phone, the real Google Play. You can download whatever you want. Skype a quick download after downloading it. Then this is my Skype account. Then I will make video conference. Then I will tell you about it. It does not have front end camera, no backup camera. What replaced it is this. HDMI input replaces internal camera. We actually do a live broadcast of a video conference. Click this video call. In this way, this is my mobile phone. Press accept here. Let's test a few apps. For example, Google Meet. Please download this. Let's open it. Actually, it can be used. Just click on the new live conference. Here you can switch between internal camera. This video comes from this camcorder. From this camcorder. For example, I test the TikTok app. You can do live test here. Then there is no picture. Just press switch camera. This video comes from this camera, you see. TikTok can catch it. Let's try Facebook. This is Facebook. I downloaded it and opened it. Yeah. Open it and then what? You can do profile live by clicking here. You can do live broadcast here. It can catch video. Let's do that Instagram live. Open it and press add. Then press live. If there is no screen, press the scroll. Okay, there is a live video. This can also be used for live streaming. Next, we will do this 17 live. This can also be opened. Open it like this. Press add. Okay, you can catch the picture even if you look at it. Video comes from this camera. Next, do this YouTube live. YouTube was downloaded from Google Play. After downloading, click here to add go live. Go. Live stream has started. Let's test Shopee live broadcast. Shopee live. I will just download it. Just open. Yes. Then here, do a live test. Click my computer. Then there is a live test here. My live broadcast. Create a live test. Then what's the next step? I also click this to switch camera. Press this switch button and it will appear. Video comes from this camera. Anyway, this is HDMI streaming tablet. It connects external HDMI devices. The advantage it emphasizes is that the compatibility of its app is very good. You can download it on Google Play. Download any app you want. Very few apps cannot be used. Just like the Zoom meeting can be used. The other ones I'm currently testing. Almost all video streaming apps can use this. Then if you feel like shouting, this video is too monotonous. The emphasis is still on the compatibility of its app. Then you think its picture is too monotonous. What kind of video pip or will make a switch? You can use HDMI video switcher. For example, you can use this Atom Mini Pro. You first pull the HDMI source into it. Then you can use your finger to switch. Use two video sources. Instagram Live for video switching. The first video source is the Sony camera. Then the second video source is iPhone mirroring. I'm explaining. Can you share videos from your iPhone? I can use this video switcher. Then make a video switch. Then connect HDMI video switcher. 
connect the special tab. And then the special tab we download it on Google Play. This native version of Instagram, this app, live broadcast directly on this Instagram app. What about the switch video switcher? It just made a simple switch and pip. If you want to do something better today, what kind of marquee is this? You can also adjust pip ratio. We'll adjust it back and forth. You can also use your computer to simulate. You had a video before. That video is more in-depth. How to convert your PC OBS. Become a very powerful video switcher. Actually, that's what I'm going to talk about. We can use my mouse to control the switching of this video. Switch on the OBS. I'm switching to the first screen now. Are there any changes? Second screen. The third screen. In this case, I will use PC Alps as a multimedia video switcher. Anyway, this is a HDMI su treatment tablet. Its purpose. Just put your HDMI signal into it. Then do a live stream. Then this operation of multimedia. Put it all on the front end. Put it on the front end. You need the front end to process it first. Then throw it to my tablet. 